okay, Paul, I got your new piece up. I've got your old piece up. And they're both gorgeous. I'm just having such a hard time deciding which one I like better. Either one would work. I think the intensity of this matches the intensity of the front from the what I remember. It's not here, so I can't put them up together. But I, I'm just thinking that it, as gorgeous as this piece is right here, it just might be a little bit underwhelming to the viewer when they open that gorgeous, colorful, beautiful um, typographic composition you created for the front of the poster. Okay, and that, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. You know, I, I went through that whole critique. I pointed out that this, this is gorgeous, very gorgeous. But you know what? Guess what? So is this. Um, now, I think this is going to work better with the front. I think it's got it's got a, a, a better continuity. I really do. I think it's more harmonious. And I think it'll it, the continuation is, it just makes a little more sense. Um, okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Really nice page. Really nice page. Very, very nice page. Um, seeing a pretty consistent three-column grid. Good job. Got a very, very nice composition for the title, though I think your kerning's a little bit wide through here. A, the AT, the a ATS, the S, and the O. Maybe even that whole word. Maybe, eh, boy, just that looks really, you got some angles here going on in this you only have one angle in this, well, two angles in this first name, the Z and the N, but this has the Y, the A's, and then you have that weirdness with the S. So you're getting some really, what look like to be really large spaces between you. Like, watch that. Good job here. Great typography. Wonderful, justified type. You don't have any real strange rivers or... Um, you do have some some issues here at the bottom, and I'll I'll get to that in a second. Though wait a second, this is not justified type. I just noticed. No, it's not. You're just your rags are just really super super even. I just noticed right there that otherwise I thought, I thought it was justified. Look at how that almost looks like it'd be justified. So, um, I think that that this gunner right here is a little thin. I I do. I think it's a little thin. You're right on top. That thirteen th is right on top of that have. So, um, and I think maybe if you were to reduce or increase the gutter size, it would give you a better chance to maybe regulate those rags a little bit. Your call on that, there's nothing wrong with it. It just is definitely a really tiny, tiny little gutter. Okay, um, this second paragraph looks good. Character count's a little bit long, but it's only four, four lines of text, so I'm okay mm -hmm. with that. Okay, now let's get down to the timeline. I think the timeline, now we know this. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I just changed gears again. I, I think that this is a little dark, This the, the name. It's a little dark. I think that you're using white type. I would say it would make sense to use white. Now, I'm not saying to go complete white here. I'm not saying, uh, I'm saying maybe screen back this a little bit. Just a touch of gray. Not quite that much because that's receding too much in the composition. We want to pull that a, a forward a little bit and get that the same color as the types. That, that way you don't have like this kind of stair step thing going out of colors. Um, okay, speaking of stair step, I see that we have this stair step timeline, which is smart. However, you have 1935 starting here. And then if we, let me just grab it a guide and I'll pull it right down to the cap line in 1935, the first and then 1941, well, I'm a little high there, but you can see the 1941 is the same. Then they start to go up. So there's an inconsistency there that the first two are the same, then they start to go up, all right? The one thing I want to see here, 1960, and then I, I, boy, I think you're saying that these are condensed years here. 1935 to 1941. Yeah, those are year markers. I don't think you need them. I don't think you need them at all because they're inconsistent, pointing to, to almost looks like a mistake. Um, they're, they're not there, they're not there, and they're there. And it takes a second to figure out that those are year markers. So I would get rid of them all together. Get a nice line for your stair step, okay? And then if my final recommendation is this, and this is, this is just kind of... I, you see that where that timeline ends right there with that kind of block? And that's indicating something other than that's the year he won his Nobel Peace Prize. So, I mean, as the timeline, and I would not end the timeline abrupt. I mean, I would just have that timeline stop. I wouldn't have it stop at a block like that or a um, intersection. 
that would indicate that that would be the end of the timeline. So, and it's not, so we know that, right? Um, don't think Nobel Peace Prize needs to be in yellow. I don't. I don't. I think I think italic is just fine. All right, that's what I got. I think you're fabulous. Good job, boy. You're you're doing some some really 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 very very nice work. Appreciate it. Any questions? Give me a holler. Thanks, Molly.